you guys know that ELF is an acronym for eyes, lips, and face? I like had no idea. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am doing a full face of ELF products. Some will be first impressions, but most of them I have been playing around with for like a month or so. Let's get right into this makeup look. I want to do it very glowy, dewy, as I do. Those are the products that I myself am super drawn to, so that is kind of like what I picked out from e.l.f. Let's go ahead and start with the base. I didn't buy a primer. Actually, I did buy a primer, but that primer that I bought from e.l.f., it was called the Illuminating Face Primer, and it pumps out gold, and like it has so much, it was just so glittery and just like dry. I had like a matte finish. It wasn't what I expected nor what I wanted so I ended up returning that one and I got a little discouraged just with the rest of the primers. They have quite a few. They have like color correcting and like whatever. Anyways, what I ended up buying was this. So this is like a highlighter, but it kind of reminded me of one of my favorite illuminating primers just to kind of prep the skin so like underneath your foundation. It's like nice and ooh, it's like that pre-cum. It kind of reminded me of Max Strobe Cream, so that is what I'm hoping that it's gonna do for me <laughs> right now. Why is it so oily though? You really gotta shake it well, you guys. Ooh, my God, I would be so down to just wear this without any makeup. It's so beautiful. Wow, I'm really, really glad I picked that one up. Okay, so let's move on to the foundation. I'm gonna do that. And just apply foundation like I normally do. I usually smear it with my finger first and then I like to perfect it with a brush. So yeah, it's like nice. I, I've played around with this foundation already and I really liked it. So I'm just taking this brush. This is by Real Techniques. I feel like it's a pretty decent foundation. I actually like the finish that it leaves. It's matte, but once I do all of my other products and stuff, it's really nice. It's not drying at all. And throughout the day, because I've already used this, so like throughout the day when I just notice that it kind of breaks up around here, but I feel like most of my foundations do, and I don't put that much, so if you're not like caking on your foundation, I feel like it's fine. So yeah, I'm like really, really impressed with this one, and it looks so expensive, doesn't it? It looks like NARS or something. Let's move right on to eyebrows. I've had this forever, and I used to really like it. And now I just find myself not reaching for it anymore because I think I've just been a little bit too spoiled with the ColourPop one where now this one is like so chunky to me. I mean, it's not bad if you're just filling in like me, but I can't imagine if somebody wants to, you know, draw hair-like strokes. I don't know, I just don't really see this being that good. And then I also have this for my eyebrows, which is a wax. Pencil. It's just a clear wax and you can use a spoolie with it as well. You see how you can form them? So those are my brows. Let's go into concealer now. This is the one that we're going to try out for the first time. I am just going to, ooh it's so pink. But maybe that's good for under here to brighten. It's like so, so pink. I like to use this little concealer brush, so I'm just gonna buff that out. I don't like it. It'll have to work, because it's the only e.l.f. concealer I have. They had other ones, they just didn't have my shade. Like, I wanted to try the HD one. It seemed a little more promising. I bought this little shadow called Soft Beige. This is so pretty for every day. It's just like a very neutral, warmy kind of brown. Just kind of pat it out. Isn't that pretty? I have this bronzer palette, so that is what I'm going to be using on my eyes as well. So I'm just going to take this one here and just hit my lower lash line with it. So I'm going to take this deeper shade and then take it on a fluffier brush. And I absolutely love this. I've had this for whew, like a year now. This is the e.l.f. blush palette and this is in the darker palette. I feel like the darker one is totally worth it. So I'm gonna take this one here. I love the e.l.f. brushes as well, by the way. I'm just gonna use this one as a shadow. 
For cheeks, I'm gonna use the cream blush. Let's go ahead and use this one. This is like a coral, and I learned from last time a little bit goes such a long way. So I'm just gonna hit, it's like so bright and pigmented, these guys. Just trying to wake up the face. And if you set these blushes, they do have a better staying power. So I know that was like a question that some of you had about what was the staying power on these guys. And yeah, they like last if you set it. I've just put it on like this and kind of disappears, but I noticed that with a lot of cream blushes. So now to set all the cream complexion products, I'm gonna use this. This is their finishing powder. I'm just gonna take it on a fluffy brush. And I actually think this powder is really nice. Any powder that doesn't leave me like super chalky and dry, I really like, so that this one is definitely one of them. It's very natural. It kind of reminds me of the MAC Mineralized, where it's so transparent that you're like, is it doing anything? But it totally is. It like cuts the shine and it sets what needs to be set. I'm gonna take this smaller brush. I love this brush as well. This is called the setting brush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and really make sure that under here won't be creasing. So like I said, I have the bronzer palette and I think it's great too. Like look at all these. So I'm gonna use the darker one to contour and it's super buildable. I'd rather build than like have a whole and then trying to you know, blend with foundation or whatever, trying to like repair that. <laughs> repair. Bronze everything with this one here. No, wait, sorry, with this one up here. Just get an overall bronze. Just to tie everything together, you know how I use this one for my eyelids? So I'm gonna use that one again for just the apples of my cheeks here. And then I always like to have this really pop out. So I got this one. Kind of reminds me of like those caviar sticks and like the Marc Jacob one that I always use. This one's just a little more chunky. So just pop in that right here. You see how like my face looks super matte? You guys know I'm not about that life. So they have a highlighting stick and you guys, it's really good. So this one is just like the plain gloss. You guys know I like these plain glossy looking highlights, like no color highlight. And I'm just gonna apply that to the high points of my cheeks here. And it gives you that sweaty look. It's such a good one, you guys. Honestly, I would run out and buy that like right now. Especially if you've been curious about like the MAC Essential Oil stick, stick that I always use or the Ciate Dewy sticks that I know I've mentioned as well. And then if you want to have a little more color, like say you're into maybe the Halo Scope that I always use, you can just mix this with a bit of like either a golden kind of highlight or your pinky kind of highlight and you can get something like that because this is basically like what's in those sticks. I don't know what it has exactly, but I know it's the same because it feels literally the same. I love this by e.l.f. This is another one that I would 100% recommend. This one is in the rose flavor or scent, but they have tons of other ones, cocoa, mint, like coffee, I think. I don't know. I have a bunch. And it's rough enough to really exfoliate. That was like bugging me, seeing my lips that dry. Anyways, I'm going to quickly apply mascara. This is a new one as well. I haven't used it yet. I just picked it up. This one is, they have so many mascaras, you guys. It was so hard to choose, but I always lack volume. I have length, but I always want like a bit more volume. So I got their volume plumping mascara my lashes yeah this is like giving me something right <laughs> okay I'm just gonna hit my bottom lashes now cool okay so let's go back to the lips so I bought this this is their liquid matte lipstick and it's called praline I thought I bought the gloss version which looks absolutely stunning this color is beautiful I've applied it before 
but when I went to Target today to kind of get like the concealer and stuff like that that I was missing to do a full face, I saw the gloss and I was like, oh, that's the one that I have, but I forgot that I don't. It's I have the liquid lipstick, but this is such a gorgeous color. If you guys have the gloss, let me know how you like it. I need to buy that. It has like that nice doe foot applicator. I'm not a fan of liquid lipsticks, as you guys may know, but I also bought the e.l.f. lip lacquer, and this one is really great. I hate the smell and like taste of it alone. It's just like vitamin E, like straight up vitamin E, but it's not sticky, it's very nourishing. So it's great when you like lip mix it in with the lipstick and stuff, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just kind of waiting for that to dry. This definitely helps nourish your lips back to life. Again, the applicator is really nice. You can totally wear it alone, but again, like the, I don't know, to me, the scent of it, like obviously it's on your lips so you kind of taste it. It's just a little off-putting. So I want to definitely be a little bit more beamy, so I'm going to take the Shimmer Elf palette and I'm just going to highlight my Cupid's bow. I'm going to take this one here. A little bit of a life. And then to finish it off, I actually have two of these sprays. Um, I liked this one at first, but after buying this one, I like this one so much more. This one has a very strong scent to it. Very like alcoholy almost, but like obviously mixed with that coconut. This is their coconut set dewy setting mist. Like you get that like pina colada like because of the alcohol in it. But this one it doesn't smell super strong at all and it's an illuminating one as well. So it's also dewy. We're just going to hit that. Even the spritz itself is like so much better. Like, you see? I felt like this in the inner corner was a little bit too pinky because that is the color. So I actually went ahead and took this color here and just pop that to really really brighten. I like, I like a really bright inner corner like this to really give like the full dewy kind of look. I'm just kind of hitting this as well. Dewy products together so it catches the light even more. Alright, I'm gonna fix my hair so I can do a little outro for y'all. <laughs> Elf glowy fresh face everyday makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, I'm such a fan of Elf. I really do feel like they have quality stuff. Like, not everything in their entire line is going to be a hit, but I always find a lot of like little hidden gems in Elf. I feel like that dewy stick is a must. Do not sleep on that one. It's so, so good because it's one of those products that like I feel like Ciate or one of those kind of like marks up. I don't know what it's made out of. I'm going to look it up but it's it shouldn't be expensive because it's literally like Vaseline. When it's in this like stick form, it just makes it a lot more wearable and like, I don't know, it's just so nice. I'm obsessed with this one, definitely. But I even think like the mascara is pretty good. I feel like my lashes are like jumping out at you, know? <laughs> The lip gloss I really like. It's just, I found a lot of really great products that can give me that like natural everyday look. Oh, the freaking lip scrub is so amazing. I've been obsessed with that. I like literally do it every single night and I love it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and spending time with me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to finish my coffee, start my day. Nice and fresh faced. <laughs> I hope you continue to have a really great day or a great night whenever you may be watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.